So you would like to watch more movies? Me too. But sometimes it just feels absolutely impossible. So how do we watch more movies? The point of this video is for me to share my tips and tricks that I have for you that will help you watch more movies. So far this year, I have watched 163 movies. And for me, that's a lot. It's not loads and loads and loads of movies, but it's not little. This time last year, I watched 60 movies. And you know, we're, we're, we're doing good. It's not even May and I've watched a lot of movies in, in my opinion. So I have a few tips that I feel like will help you watch more movies. And I don't wanna make this intro long, so let's get right into it. How do we watch more movies? Tip number one, <laughs> watch more short movies. The amount of people I know that just do not watch short movies is absolutely criminal. Your favorite director had to start somewhere and usually they start with short. With that, it's an incredible way to dive into the roots of these directors and see where they started. Alongside that, it could also be used as motivation for you as a creative. Seeing where somebody started is great because most of the time it's not somewhere spectacular, but somewhere small and humble. I adore shorts so much. I usually watch a feature and then I stick on a short after and I find found so many incredible short movies so far. Ones that I've shared with my friends and I would like to share with you. So here are some incredible short movies that I think you really, really need to watch. That They're, they're just great. <laughs> when it comes to methods to finding them, I just go on Letterboxd, I find a director I like, I scroll through their filmography and find if they have any shorts. And the great thing is, usually these shorts are on YouTube. Sometimes you have to go digging on Google for like an hour. You know, if, if you don't have time for that, that's perfectly fine. But usually incredible shorts by these incredible directors are are on YouTube, so you have no excuse. Usually they're like 10, 20, 30, sometimes 40 minutes, but you just just go watch them there. It's, it's an incredible way to squeeze in more movies. And usually you learn so much in such little time, so many emotions, themes, ideas, in such a small space of time that I really recommend you watch because shorts are just incredible and I you should definitely check them out. <laughs> Tip number two, don't overthink what you're going to watch. The amount of times I scroll through my watch list and I'm like, hmm, what will I watch? Okay, movie picked. Hmm, well, actually I'm not in the mood for that movie. Let me pick something else. How about a horror? Well you know, I'm not really in the mood for a horror. What about a stand-up? Mm, I'm not really in the mood for a stand-up. And every single day and every single week and every single month, I have this problem and it is stupid. Do you know the amount of time that I'm wasting trying to pick a movie? It is insane. There have been times where I literally sit down and I'm like, okay, let me pick a movie. And it takes me 45 minutes. It should not take 45 minutes to pick a movie. No, uh, uh, that is bad, 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 bad. It's sometimes best to just pick a movie and watch it. It's so simple, but it works. If you spend hours overthinking thinking it and trying to cater to a very specific taste that you're not even sure of, like what is this taste that you're trying to cater towards? It's just, you're wasting time and you could be watching movies. Like, it's a simple equation. I always complain that I never have time to watch longer movies, but if I just went with my first pick, then I'd be able to watch them. So don't stress over it. Watch your first pick, or if you don't want to do that, maybe you can set a timer for yourself. Give yourself five minutes to pick a movie, or maybe stick to a genre. Stick to a specific actor that you want to watch a movie with, and it will make your life easier, and I promise you, you will watch more movies because of it. It's it's a game changer. It's so simple, but it, it it's crazy that it how much it works. If you have a massive watch list like me, it will definitely Definitely help you just kind of like sieve through everything and just pick something quickly and you're not going to be wasting loads of time flicking through movies and being indecisive because that is bad. No, no. On to tip number three. Sometimes, despite our love for movies, we find ourselves lacking the motivation to dive into them. It's not that we don't want to watch it. It just feels like this whole thing, you know, like this whole production. And this idea of watching movies alone can sometimes dampen the excitement for some people. However, I do feel like there's a relatively simple way to just deal with this dilemma, and that is to center your dates or friend hangouts around a movie. Plan movie dates with your partner, friends, or family members. Choose a movie together, whether it's like a classic you've been dying to revisit, or maybe like something new that you've been meaning to to watch for a long time, coordinate a time to watch a movie together, either at home or even in the cinema. Not only does this help with watching movies alone, but it also adds an element of anticipation and shared experience. You can discuss the movie before, during, not during, like maybe if it's a movie you've never seen, maybe during if it's something you've watched loads of times, you can have like a little chat throughout. Maybe it's like it's a horror movie, where you can be like, oh, don't go into the closet, blah, blah, blah. Something along those lines, but usually don't talk <laughs> throughout a movie. And after watching, you know, the movie, you can exchange opinions, theories, and favorite scenes. And after the movie, Whenever you talk about it, it can help reignite that excitement around watching movies. And you might discover new layers of meaning or gain a deeper appreciation for certain aspects of the movie. Plus, it's a great way to bond and strengthen your connection through shared interest. And that's what movies are all about. Alongside that, consider hosting themed movie nights or like film marathons. That is if you're into all of that. Rotate the responsibility of selecting movies among your group, allowing each person to showcase their favorite films or maybe introduce others to hidden gems. I'm saying all this, but I prefer to watch movies alone. So this is not 
for me, but if it's for you, then I really do think it's a great idea. Because by centering your social gatherings around movies and embracing the discussions that follow, you not only overcome the hurdle of watching movies alone, but you also create memorable experiences with friends and loved ones. So next time you're feeling unmotivated to watch a movie, reach out to one of your favorite people and make it a shared experience. I feel like it would make life a little bit easier. Or if you have somebody that lives nearby or like just somebody, just watch a movie with somebody, I feel like it will like make the experience a lot more fun and just you'll, you'll enjoy movies. And if this is what really pushes you to reignite like your joy for movies, then do it. If this is what works, do it. And if you like watching movies alone, that's perfectly okay because that's me. I prefer to watch things on my own. So on to the next tip. If you're truly dedicated and maybe a little bit crazy, consider making a commitment to adjust your daily schedule to accommodate more movie watching time. One effective strategy is to either wake up earlier or stay up later, especially on your days off. By setting your alarm a little bit earlier or choosing to extend your evenings, you can carve out those precious hours dedicated solely to enjoying movies. On days off when you have more flexibility, such as weekends or holidays, this approach can be particularly effective. Instead of sleeping in or like going to bed really early, use this time to indulge in movies. These extra hours provide an invaluable opportunity to watch even more movies. But if you want to sleep more, obviously, that's okay. This tip is for those who just want to watch more and more and more and more and more and more and never like stop watching movies, basically. Of course, adjusting your sleep schedule requires a lot of discipline and willingness to prioritize movies. It might mean you have to sacrifice a little bit of sleep, but for many, the reward is great. It outweighs the temporary tiredness and you could find a new movie in those few hours. Like imagine going to sleep or finding one of your new favorite movies of all time. I, I don't know, this, the, the latter is more tempting for me. I don't, I don't know. I wouldn't recommend like watching a three hour classic at 7 a.m., maybe like a 90 minute drama and then the evenings judge your tiredness and pick your movie around that. You're also creating a dedicated time and space to fully immerse yourself in movies and maybe like work it into a routine. Make it a part of your day. Dedicate those 90 minutes or 120 minutes or whatever amount of minutes you have just for movies. So if you're a little nuts do it what's the worst that can happen from not sleeping R right what's what's the worst what happens if you get like two or three hours of sleep Pfft, it's fine it's fine it's fine <laughs> so one more tiny little small little point that i feel like will actually help you watch a lot more movies and it's it's a it's a good point if i, if I do say so my says health in my case, I find that I'm almost always in the mood to watch a movie. It's my favorite thing to do. Well, one of my favorite things to do. It's something that I just really, really love. And it explains why I'm fine with watching like three or two movies a day or whatever it is. I'm, I just love it and I'm fine with watching loads and loads and loads of movies. I believe that pushing yourself to watch movies when the desire isn't there is just not a good idea. Instead, I suggest exploring things that genuinely captivate your interest. For example, you can make a list of documentaries about a topic that you just really, really love and you want to dive more into it. Or maybe you want to watch something like all the Resident Evil movies because you watched them years ago and you just want to revisit it. Or maybe you want to watch something you loved as a kid or something your parents told you about. Anything at all, as long as you actually care about it and you have an interest in it and you're not forcing yourself to watch that thing. It's about finding content that you can seamlessly immerse yourself in without the pressure of needing to be in a specific mood or overthinking the viewing process. By choosing movies that align with your genuine interests, you're more likely to maintain your passion for the hobby and enjoy the experience to the fullest. But saying that, sometimes variety is like the best thing that you can do. Switching things up is so important. Watch something that you've never really considered before. Watch like a foreign movie if you've never done that. Or maybe like a movie from the 40s or maybe by a specific director. Something like that. And diving into new things is just absolutely great because it gives you the chance to ignite your enthusiasm and you find things that you love and it's just an incredible cycle that I recommend to everybody. So don't overthink it and don't stress it. Watch what you want to watch and when you can. If you don't want to watch a movie on a day, that's perfectly fine. Maybe you want to go see some friends or play some football or something else, it's fine. The main thing is, is that you do not compare yourself to others because everyone prioritizes their time differently. It really isn't a race as pretentious as that sounds and as corny as that sounds. And sometimes I can go weeks without watching a movie and sometimes I'm lucky to watch like three movies in a single day and that's also okay. As long as you're enjoying it, that's like the main thing. It is a hobby, not a chore. So just watch what you want to watch whenever you can watch it. Just do what you want to do and do not put pressure on yourself because if you force yourself to watch these movies that you don't really want to watch, are you really having a good time and who are you really doing it for? So enjoy the process. Enjoy the movies that you watch because movies are absolutely incredible. Do not put pressure on yourself and just have a good time. Hopefully these tips have helped you somewhat. Honestly, you could have like watched a movie instead of watching this video. You could have started a movie, but that doesn't matter. Hopefully this was somewhat helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>